So your sales ability equals your earning ability. Repeat after me. Your sales ability equals your earning ability. The number one skill of a, as an entrepreneur is what? Sales. It is sales. It is sales. Period. The number one skill of an entrepreneur is sales. It's very, very simple. And most entrepreneurs struggle, you can see, because they can't sell. There's virtually no problem that can be solved in a business setting. I've never seen a company go out of business because of too much sales. It's never. I've never seen a company go out of business because of too much revenue, yes? So most of the time as an entrepreneur, think of even Steve Jobs before he passed away when there's the, the Apple, right, the new iPhone announcement. He's announcing this revolutionary technology. What is he doing? He's selling. He's selling. He's selling one to what? How many? Millions. And is he a good salesperson? You better believe it. You better believe it. Same thing with Bill Gates. Bill Gates, was, you might think, was a genius programmer, everything. He's a salesman. If you actually read his book, one of his, he talks about licensing, he's doing deals. He's a salesman. Warren Buffett is a salesman. Great stock investor, but also a salesman. <coughs> I'm, sell, I'm selling every day, every single day, every single day. So, secret number two, write this down. You can always sell more of a person wants, not less. You can always sell more of a person wants, not less. What does that mean? When you sell them less of what they want, you're actually doing them a disservice. Because they are not satisfied. But you can always sell them more of a person what they want. More. In, at, the, at, in the, at that time, they might not have a high enough self-esteem to purchase the product that they might think, well, I, I can't afford it, or I don't deserve it, or whatever mental barrier they might have, but you can always sell them more. So you're not doing them a service by, well, you can't afford this, maybe here's something a little bit cheaper. Well, how do you know it's, it's good for them? What if their needs change in the future? So whatever you're selling, you always want to sell the most expensive package first. Yes? When I go into a sales situation, I go into a sales situation with so much conviction and so much confidence. In my mind, he's my belief. And you don't have to buy my belief, but he's my belief. I'm going to sell them something they don't even know they need, and they're going to thank me afterwards. Here's my belief. Because I know what I have. I know what would happen if I, I get my products in their hands. I can't help anyone if I don't get my products in their hands. Does that make sense? You can't help nobody. You cannot help nobody. So, you can always sell more of a person once and not less. Uh, let me tell you a story. This was me many years ago trying to look old and stuff like that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, with my glasses and short hair and shit, unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, uh, one of my dream car in the beginning years ago uh, was the uh, Master LX8. I had, I put in my vision board, I, I, I set the goal, and finally I went to get the car, <coughs> finally get the car. So I, I went into the dealership. And I saw this salesman. And I was, I was telling him, hey, you know what? I, I wanted to get my car. I've been waiting for years. I've been work, working very hard. I wanted to get the Master LX8. Great, sir. And we talk and this and that and say, hey, here's what I need. Here's what I want. Da, da, da. And he said, at the end of that, he said, well, you know what? I can save you some money. You don't need to upgrade these options and stuff like that. It's OK. It's just you know, flashy stuff. And you, don't, you don't need the sunroof. You, know, you, don't, you don't need this audio, and you don't need that flashy wheels and stuff like that, and you don't need all that. So let me save you some money, let me calculate this, and, and you, know, you can save money on this way and this and that. And I get, you know, okay. And I said to him, but I want that stuff. <laughs> like, hello? No, you know, you don't need that stuff. You know. What is he doing? What is he doing? No, he's projecting his values on me. How many of you project your values to your clients? Just because you can't afford to buy whatever you're selling doesn't mean they can't afford it. How about follow what I'm saying? Yeah, and you are not your client. You are not your client. I have, I've seen entrepreneurs, they project their struggles to their clients. Oh, I'm, I'm struggling, my business is not doing well, no one's gonna spend $10,000 on this, I can't sell this. So therefore, when they meet with a prospect, 
the prospects feels it, well, you don't believe that much in your product. Uh, I guess so. I, I get it. It's too expensive. So same thing with this sales guy. And I, 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 was, I, I was selling him for God's sakes. I was like, no, I want this. I, wa I want this. I want, I want the whole shipping. Give me, give me the... Damn it, I'm buying a sport car, right? I, I want the wheels, I want this, I want that. Give me, give me the biggest package you have. Oh, no, no, no. Finally, I was just so pissed off. Let me see your manager. <laughs> right? Let me see your manager. And the manager came, and he was smart. He, he said, sir, how can I help you? I said, you know, I want this, and this guy wants to try to save me. I don't want to save fucking money. <laughs> I want a nice car. Oh, no problem, sir. And he do the computer thing, and then... Most expensive upgrades, everything, you know, stereo, bar, everything upgrade. Here's the price. I said, I like that. <laughs> Sign, 10 minutes, done. Done. You follow what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. You can always sell them more, not less, not less.